Hi guys. I wanted to take a minute and show you um, how I do graphics. So I am not a graphics person at all. Um, I am not like in inclined to do that. I don't like to spend a lot of time on it. It's not income producing, but I do think it's important um, to have some cute fun graphics from time to time, especially if you are going to do an album sale or do anything special. You want to kind of catch people's attention. I do album sales every Wednesday, so I like to make a couple graphics for that. So the graphics that I like to have um, unique for every week is I like to have a specific event cover and cover photo for my album sale. I like to have a roll call, so that's something I'm going to um, I'm gonna post an hour ahead of time to remind my customers, hey, we're gonna be shopping albums soon. I like to have a shopping open um, graphic. I like to have album covers for what I'm selling that week in my albums and an engagement post of some kind. So I have tried a couple different programs and this one's my favorite. I like Votar and I did go ahead and pay for the upgraded account. I just found that the ability to save and the extra features that it offered um, was something that I utilize. I did utilize enough to make it worth the investment. I believe it was um, $76 if you paid by the year, which was less expensive than the other companies were if you paid by the month. So I am going to start with a collage because I want my event cover and my my event cover and my cover photo are going to be the same, but I am going to resize them. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in just a second. Just do a basic collage. I would like these to be collages of me and the pictures of me and the clothes that are going to be available in the album. So that way people can see what they actually look like on like a real person. Okay. I just, you can take these tutorials. I'm not a tutorials kind of person, so I just go ahead and skip those. I'm sure this does all kinds of cool, fun things I don't even know about, but I just have done it um, my way because I found that it works just fine. So the, uh, the cover, the what you need for your event cover is that size is going to be 801 by 250. Now, I haven't figured out how to make it the exact size, so I just get close. I think it's that one. Yeah. So that one's kind of the closest that I can get to the event, the event cover size. And I'm sure one of you is watching this and like you totally know how to make it the exact size. Like, don't yell at me. I'm just, this is just for beginners, okay? So then you're gonna import pictures from your computer if you're doing collage. I just took these a few minutes ago. As you can see, I'm super organized for my sale that's happening tomorrow. <laughs> I'm taking pictures today. It's real life, you guys. Five kids and other, other things that come up when you have a big team and a large family. Okay, so these are, these are some of the pictures that I wanna use in my event cover to get people excited about what we're gonna be what we're going to be able to shop tomorrow. I can't see if I love all these, so I'm just going to upload all of those. <clears throat> I think actually I maybe want this one instead. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. We'll have to see how this goes. Okay, so these are uploading. And then you can just drag. Okay. You click on that. Click on rotate. And you can rotate that bad boy any way you want. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom out. Yeah, I can zoom out a little bit. Okay. So that's perfect. So now we can actually see apply. Now we can actually see the picture a little bit. Move that over. What a cute outfit. I'll probably put this one up here because I don't need to see as much of it. We're going to rotate that again. See if maybe we can't zoom that out just a touch. Apply. 
let's show them let's show them the dress because I think that will be something that they'll like. So we're gonna show them a full picture of the dress. Drag it, you just drag and drop, and then you can rotate. So easy, you can flip these. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so let's see if I can zoom that out a little bit. Okay, so that's better. Apply. And then let's see, for the last one, I think I'll do this mustard cardigan. That one is so cute. I love that color. This is literally how I do it. This is literally how I do it every time. Okay, let's see if I can zoom it at all. Hi. And then see how the border is kind of thick, that white border? I don't need it to be that thick. So right down here is border, and I'm gonna make that smaller. Okay, and then I'm gonna define it a little bit. And you can do that by clicking on background. And then you can pick a color that will be, oop, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I picked a color for the background, so then that'll end, end up being the border, the border color. So, I, and again, I am like, this is not an income producing activity, so I would encourage you to just not spend a whole lot of time on it, make it look cute, but like you don't have to play around with that color for five hours, like make some other background and do other, just let it go. Then the only other thing I'm gonna add to this is I'm gonna put a little banner kind of over this and I'm gonna write album sale and the time that it starts. So the way I'm gonna do that, I like to keep my stuff simple. One of my, um, like, I don't do like resolutions, but I do do goals. One of my goals for the new year was to keep it simple. K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, sweetie. And I think that's really important. And I think we overcomplicate so much. And we just end up focusing on um, non-income producing activities. And I just, I don't want to fall into that trap anymore. So I'm going to just keep it nice and simple. So I don't, obviously, I don't want to cover up the, the pictures that I just that I just took and uploaded. So I'm gonna go up here to this little thing here, it's a transparency, and I'm gonna make that a little bit more see-through. So there's a definition there, but I can still see the clothes. And then I'm gonna type over it, so I'm gonna click text, and I'm gonna add, add a text box, and I'm gonna write album sale, six, um, Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to just drag that box up there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. It's not quite as big as I want it. Maybe I want to go to 50. This is super technical. That's probably about right. Let's see what happens if I make that text white. Okay, so that stands out quite a bit. All right, so I'm happy with that. That's perfect for me. I'm really good with that. Um, that is going to work just fine. That is going to be my Facebook cover. And then I'm going to resize it slightly for the event because the event, the Facebook cover size, again, is 801 by 250. And again, I haven't figured out how to make that size here exact, but I'm sure somebody will tell me. And then the event needs to be 1200 by 675 for it to be perfect. But Facebook will kind of squish it a little bit, so I'm, it's fine. For my purposes, it's totally fine. I am, I'm all about like, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be done. So I'm gonna say album, nope, this isn't an album cover, this is a Facebook cover group cover, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna date it. So my sale tomorrow is 110. So I'm gonna say 110, download. And then that's going to download to my computer. So then what I'm going to do next, because I am all about simplicity, I'm going to just simply, I'm going to simply resize this. Click out of there, the X. I'm going to resize this to be something um, that will work for the event cover. So it needs to be about 1200 by 675. So I'm going to find one of these that's about that. So 13 by 768 is probably gonna be close enough. 
So we will do that. And then I'll just adjust this a little bit because you saw some of my pictures. So my pictures got a little, a little squished. Move that over a little bit, one part over a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna save this again, but I'm gonna name it event cover. Facebook event cover 110. Download. Okay, so now those are done. And you can tell that was super fast. So um, I don't know, I can't remember what time I started this video, but we only spent a few minutes on that, which is perfect. Then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on design. I'm gonna say leave, because I've already saved that to my computer. And now I need to decide what I'm gonna do for my albums. So tomorrow I am selling um, a boyfriend cardigan, which is 100% like knitted, thick cardigan. I'm selling velvet, everyday tees, a long sleeve, asymmetrical, and a Joplin dress. So I'm just, I'm gonna click on Facebook post because that's the size I want it to be. I'm going to skip all my tutorials, and I am going to pick one of their designs. And because I am, like, a super special, like, member, and I paid that, like, extra fee, I get to pick any of these that I like. I'm just going to pick something that kind of speaks to me. Um, and then I'm going to sort of, I'll show you how I kind of mess around with it a little bit um, to make it what I want. And you can change the color schemes and things, so don't get too hung up on that. I've used several of these recently, so I'm kind of looking for something unique that my group hasn't seen. And something that feels a little bit, feels a little bit fun. Sometimes there's so many right away that I'm just like, I love that. And sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Okay, I kind of like this one. I'll do this one. This is gonna work for us. Okay, so. Oh, I guess it kind of, all right, we're just going to say, so see, those don't really work for us because I am, I do clothing and not a teacher. So we're just going to delete the stuff that just doesn't make sense. So that little trash can right there, just click on the stuff, just delete it. And you can easily undo. So like if I was like, oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. You can undo it. It's super simple, you guys. I'm like so not techie. So if I can figure it out, you can totally figure it out. So we'll just delete We're going to delete that text box. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy up a little bit. And I'm going to keep this text box down here. And that's where I'm going to put my branding. I like to brand my album covers. Just because sometimes people like to borrow album covers without asking. And then that way, I'm kind of covered. <clears throat> the hard work that I've done to make the album covers. I don't have to worry about somebody using them in their group as their own. I might have to make him a little bit smaller. I do like him, I think he's kind of cute. We're just gonna keep him, make him a little bit smaller. Move the text box up again. So you can see you can just easily drag, just drag stuff where you want it to go. <clears throat> So that's my brand. I think I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. It doesn't need to be quite so big for an album. And then I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And you can see, see, it kind of shows you, like, if you're aligned with things, it'll sort of show you where your alignment is. So I kind of like that. It does that. I feel like it helps. <clears throat> okay. So I'm happy with that. Then we can go delete all of this because this is where I'm going to put the text for my album. So if I'm going to do a Joplin album, that's where I'm going to write it. And it's not going to be that big, and I think I'm going to use a different font. But again, I don't recommend spending a whole, whole lot of time on this. It's not income producing. Um, so pick something and just go with it. Pick it quick. See how it's kind of tilted like that? You can just easily fix that by clicking on the little, that little arrow button right there. You can make it go any way you want. I do not need it to be that large. Okay, probably like 50, maybe a little bit more. 
Okay, so the first one I need is Joplin. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this text box so that it's longer. And then you can see I do have a little bit of room to play with. I am told you I'm really not technical. Okay, so that might work. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So that's gonna be our first one. So we're gonna save that. I'm gonna label it Joplin 110. That's when our album is. That will help me find it later. And then I'm gonna go back to it and I'm gonna do the next style. I do not, I have a really large inventory so I just cannot show everything at one time in, um, in an album sale. So I don't. So I only pick a few sizes or a few styles for every album sale. So I'm not gonna waste my time making covers if I don't, if I'm not gonna show it. Computer's running a little bit slow. I need to make that a little bit smaller so that it fits. Oops. Okay, so see, I can just undo it and then it goes right back to the where it was. So I don't have to worry about messing with it at all. Okay, so that's good. I'm happy with that. I always like to double check that I spell things correctly because sometimes when I'm moving fast, I just don't. Okay. Like that. Boyfriend 110. And so then I still need to do every day an asymmetrical and then we're good. And then I just need to do a shopping open. And I think that's it. Every day. Tea. I'll save that and then I still need to do you still need to do one for asymmetrical that's going to be fun to get that word all in there and you don't want to abbreviate a word like asymmetrical And that's a newer piece, so I'll put in the word tunic just because I think not everyone's gonna know. So I think some people are like, what is that? Not sure. You have to go down to 50 for that one. Eek. Okay, so again, like don't don't get worried about like this text is smaller, that text is bigger. It's not a big deal. As long as it's cohesive, the overall look is the same, it's totally fine. You're good. Okay. Save that. And then let me just double check. So I want a roll call, but I'm actually, I might do it with this one this time. I think I will just to keep it cohesive. I've been kind of playing around with that a little bit and I feel like it's been working. So I think we will. And we want this one to be nice and big. See, maybe we can do 90. Will that fit? It does. We'll save that. And then I wanted to do, okay, so I wanted to do the cover and the, the event cover, which we did. I want to do roll call. Okay, so the only other thing I wanted to do was a shopping open. I do like to have an invoices out too, so I might do that one. Do albums open. I haven't done albums in my group for a little bit. I have been utilizing a different um, a different way of different way of driving sales recently, and so I think for my group right this second, it's most useful for them if I remind them that it's albums. I know last week a couple of the ladies were like, "I can't find the shopping." It's like we are doing albums, ladies. So I think I want to remind them again that it's albums. Your verbiage is really, really important. Um, 
you know, I think sometimes we have so much going on as consultants that we forget that like our customers weren't in on the planning <laughs> with us. And so I think we go like to step number five and like we forgot to walk our customers through like steps one through four. Um, so I try to be aware of that. And I am gonna make one more. I do like to have an invoice of sent one too. That way um, they know to ask me if they haven't seen their invoices. Sometimes PayPal is uh, a little bit a little bit quirky with who gets their invoices and who doesn't. Let me make that a little bit smaller. Oh, not that big. Not that big. Okay. Oh no, what happened? Okay. I lost it somewhere. There we go. My goodness, look at us figuring it out. <laughs> I think my computer, sorry guys, I think my computer is, um, my computer is all done with me recording today. It's slowing me down. And it'll give you, so this is the color palette. So if you ever wanted to add something and you want to use one of these colors, you don't have to try to search for it. It's already told you what colors it's using in there. Oh, you can see up top, it's, you can see up top that little sync button was going. So it was trying to think. I wasn't letting it think. Okay, let's move this over. Goodness. Having a little bit of a problem with this text box. Okay, move that over a little bit, go up there. Let's get rid of that black letter T. Hmm, not sure where that not sure where that T came from. Okay, let's just try that again. Just try that one more time. Okay, we're good. All set. We were go, go ahead and save it. This is the last one that we need. And it's that simple. So the only other thing that's pretty cool that I wanted to show you is this feature. So let's just say I wanted to do more of these hearts. You can simply click this little clone and it'll give you the exact duplicate. So you could just throw these little hearts all over the place if you wanted, which is really cool. Cause you don't have to like go searching for like, where was that, that little guy? If I wanna like make a second one of him, I can just, just click that little clone. It's gonna give me another little cute penguin I can stick someplace. So that's a really cool trick too. The other cool thing that's really helpful is, okay, so let's say that I have the penguin right here and I wanna put it underneath um, the invoice is sent. You can use this layers button and you can click move to the bottom. So now that penguin, he didn't go away. He's underneath all of this, all of those layers, see him? So now I can write something over top of it. So that comes in pretty handy. That is pretty cool. So let's say that I wanted to make this gray box over here. And I wanted for that heart to be poking out, but I wanted it to be under. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna click on layer, and we're gonna move it to the bottom. And then we can move it up a layer. So see what that does, it moves it right in the middle. So I kind of could put it, I could sandwich it in between. So lots of cool, fun things. I encourage you to play around with this. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, again, don't spend too much time on graphics. It is not income producing, but it is cool to differentiate your shop. I use this program to rebrand my brand. Um, let me see if I can show you that in the back office. I just simply did a black, white, and gold 
theme. I ordered some new business cards on Vistaprint and I was able to duplicate the design really easily in here. I picked something really simple and I love it. Right there, there it is. So that is my branding and I love it so much. Um, and so this made it really simple for me to design it and then also to um, keep it nice and nice and orderly. So I hope that that was helpful and I wish you good luck in your business and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.